Oh. God, that's what killing me. Is that like her? Oh. God, that's what killing me. Welcome back to Dare Watching Some More Lucifer. We're at season three, episode twelve. This one is titled "All About Her." Chloe, all about Chloe. Please, <laughs> um, let's get into it. Thanks for the drink. Figured it's the least I could do. After all, I am the reason you're leaking all over my floor. Now you'll claim your arrival on my doorstep simply coincidence. No, I'm the one that had you knocked out and left in the desert. That's it. That's all I did. So you're gonna blame everything else on your eyeless Why? stooge? She wasn't a stooge. He was my right hand man. I'm still human. I still feel all the pain that comes with death. Just the wounds heal. Oh, sounds like a bitch. Yeah, I don't have to tell you what sort of sick sense of humor your father has. You gave me back my wretched wings. I know you took my devil face. So tell me, what did he offer you in return? I would never work for your father. And I have nothing to do with your wings or your devil face. I don't believe you. I don't care. The thing you're going, oh, you can't just walk out on me. Or what? You'll kill me. Hmm. Oh. I'll tell everyone who you really are. Go ahead. There. They don't even believe you're the devil. Yeah. Good point. Hey, let's keep this quiet. Keep the question pouncing. Is that okay, detective? I assume you got held out with that needy offspring of yours and simply forgot to call. But no matter. I'm here. Actually, I chose not to call you. Okay. You came here to get my help. Very much so, yes. My help. Are you having a senior moment? The only thing I can do is control how I respond. By helping me? By working without you today. Time to go home and be with the person you love most. Yourself. <coughs> you did break her trust and kidnap a man while working on a case together. Well, technically, we kidnapped each other. The point is, <laughs> perhaps it would help if you saw Chloe's perspective for a change. I mean, friendship is a two-way street. So what you're saying is I need to make it all about her for a change. Exactly. It's all about her. And then she can make it all about me. Oh, that is brilliant, Doctor. Yes, very good. Should have seen that one coming. Can you match that to the wound on Manny's throat? Sure. Okay, I'll update the lieutenant. What is up with her? Did she know him? You are not being your excessively cheery self today. What gives? Yeah. Pierce yelled at me yesterday. Oh. He said that I talk too much. So I'm trying to talk less. Oh my god, I forgot about that. If I fell, Ella, <laughs> I'd be in a million pieces right now. But instead, I pushed through, rose through the ranks, built my own firm, and here I am. Ella, hey, baby, honey. be yourself. It's okay, hey. we like you. Screw him. You going somewhere? I've never had a human illness before. But sore throat, itchy eyes, a fever. Is it a cold? The flu? It's chlamydia. Excuse me. It's a sexually transmitted disease. Right, but I can't have chlamydia. I'm an angel. <laughs> the important thing is to focus on next steps. Who gave Do you him know how you chlamydia? Got it? I have no idea. Linda? No. Well, I did have sex with a prostitute. Uh oh. I've also been making love to an amazing woman who I have genuine feelings for. He but might have given her chlamydia. We have a mutual friend who doesn't want us together, and she is not one to be trifled with, so. Someone signed you up for the competition. This might actually help. Yes, I know. But wait, there's more. <laughs> now, since you're going in undercover, there's more. Why not do it with a little panache. Oh. <laughs> nice try. He's a sugar daddy. What? Oh, <laughs> oh, him. He's just. It's my he's brother. Sponsor. He's totally overbearing and absolutely not needed. So, Dougie, did you uh, hurt yourself? 
Looks like someone bit it really hard here. Did you hit someone? Who did you say you were again? She changed her attitude. Should have been like, did you hurt yourself? Oh. God, sweet chili. Is that like her? Oh. God, sweet chili. This is it. Let go. See? Detective Day. Killed the dog of the sea. Hold on a second. You think you're here because you killed a seal? Yeah. Where else would I be here? I killed the dog of the wow. sea. Okay, but um, still prison for me. killing a seal. Cream? Ella Lopez may be astonishingly perky and optimistic, but she doesn't deserve to have her spirit crushed by anyone. Especially not a man who for some unknown reason she looks up to. Damn straight. Really appreciate how you handled the whole me not wanting you and Amanda deal to the one thing. <laughs> this is unnecessary, Mace. Stop it. Okay. Is you she gonna call them it. both while they're together? <laughs> then she's gonna. What? I was gonna call Linda. Uh huh. Yeah. Is that it? Whatever. <sighs> Stupid amenity. Sorry. You were saying? He's just whining about having chlamydia. <laughs> Dodge that bullet. I have an idea. This isn't a good idea. Trust me, it's gonna work. To do that. Do the She's got a partner to pick up the snack. Is he gonna do it right though? Like, what is this? Right. Now, what do I do? Okay, I've done What's everything I can imagine to be helpful to the detective, and I'm literally out of ideas. Can you think of anything? I want them spick and span. And if you don't mind, how about you do with a freaking smile? Are you feeling all right, Miss Lopez? This isn't me. Is it? Afraid not, no. What do you mean Pierce is leaving? Yeah, didn't you hear? He's about to transfer out of the department. <sighs> no, 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 no. There you are. What, did you come to make it all about me again? No, it's all about him now. He's crazy if he thinks I'm letting him leave town without finishing our conversation. Ask me. Oh. Very well. Kane. What is it that you desire? To die. But to die. What does that have to do with coming here or me? It has nothing to do with you. And everything to do with her. But why? I don't understand. What does the detective have to do with wanting to die? Imagine my surprise when I find out there's a detective who somehow made Devil mm. For the first time, I had hope. Maybe she could do for me what she did for you. Then finally, you'd be free. And then he got. The so white kidnapped me. You let him know you were coming. Hoping he'd react the way that he did. You put the detective in danger. And even then, with Chloe right beside me, it didn't work. Because she's not yours. She's not your soulmate. There must have been a reason my wings appeared at that moment. There has to have been. Maybe. But it wasn't because of me. Well, That's I thought you were So many more on. questions. Is that blood? If you want something, you have to be willing to go the extra Hello, mile. Hello, detective. <laughs> what do you think? I'm particularly proud of the new filing system, complete with a sexy victim's file, obvious killer's pile, oh, and boring crime's file, to be ignored, of course. Are you that self-absorbed that you don't realize how your actions hurt people, hurt me? And I can only assume that you asked Pierce for help, too, which is nuts. 
by the way. Oh, I don't need your help anymore. Then why are you still here? Because this case matters to you. Therefore, it matters to me. We're, we're partners, detective. Next time, you want to just start there? Next time, so we're... Okay. <laughs> oh, a hot suspect. Holy crap, that's... You did it. Well, okay, detective, I get it. You don't like the new filing system, but this is a bit excessive. Oh. No, California has no private beaches, which means... Someone must have put the signs up illegally. Oh. Look here. One person was cited dozens of times for posting at Harvard. To you, detective. Uh. Oh, I'm so sorry. I must have missed those. Did you happen to see them? No. No. You know, someone must have taken them down. You don't get it. I paid for this land. I even put up signs, but they trampled this whole beach like it was their own. They trashed. And that's why you framed murder as for Manny's murder. If people Girl. were scared enough, then <laughs> After all that, I could really use a glass of champagne. Should... Lucifer, what's he doing? Where did he go? I'm not sure if we should be intimate together at all. Is this because I have chlamydia? Um, no, I mean, I feel like I'm being a bad friend to Maze. It doesn't matter how much I like you. I can't date my friend's ex anymore. But I do really like you. That's what's unfortunate and that and that's really what makes like the situation kind of like uh maze <coughs> Yes, apologize. Thank you. I was in a bad place and I took it out on you and there's no excuse for that. I'm sorry. You were in a bad place? Really? Is there anything I can do? Do you, do you need a hug? Yes. Sure, why not? No. Oh. <laughs> she looks like she gives great hugs. You're gonna miss me. Because my dad screwed us both. But perhaps there's a way for us to screw them back. How? By killing you, of course. What makes you think you can do that? Well, you may have crossed paths with God. But you've certainly never made a deal with the devil before now, have you? Who do I lose? Well, hopefully, your life. Okay, I'm not too sure how he got to that conclusion in the end because to me it's not like I don't really see it because I feel like he's trying so hard to find an external reason why his wings grew back when actually I think it's just like from the inside like everything that he's been through has led him to like we don't know maybe his wings were back for a long time they just haven't like you know like even before he was stranded in the desert or Maybe it just happened when he was unconscious and like his subconscious did it. I don't actually, maybe I'm wrong, I could be wrong, but it's just like the feeling that I have, I feel like it's not an external thing, you know? Um, but he seems convinced and he really doesn't want his wings and he wants his uh, devil face back. So Cain wants to die, he's sick of it, he wants to go and die. Which I guess makes sense because he looks miserable and like he doesn't want to be here. Because what I'm saying that I don't see it when Lucifer says that is that the kidnapping was unsuccessful because Lucifer got his wings back. Like that's the reason. Because he said you sprouted wings and you came back earlier. But he still, like Cain still got to like test the theory of having Chloe next to him and being shot so like I, that's am I missing something 
because he still got to do what he wanted and like in the few episodes after so I don't see how giving Lucifer's wings would like be related to Cain. I know that it's all like the timing is all like it fits because it's Cain who fucking threw him in the desert so if the wings grew while he was in the desert then maybe but I still believe that it's an internal thing. This episode we also had well again we had like moments where Lucifer fails to see things from Chloe's perspective and he's really self-centered and it's like I feel like sometimes it's like they make him really they give him moments that it's like oh my god so he really understands like human communication and like non-verbal and just like you know be there for the other person and sometimes he just like completely misses the point you know and I feel like it's either one or the other like there's no middle so I think that's interesting because I guess it depends on what the episode is about and what they're trying to do with the story but this episode was one of those times where Lucifer was just like <laughs> at the start well at the start and during the whole episode but I mean in the end made him like oh yeah but I care about this case because you care about this case and then they do that, they bust that girl, and then he leaves her on the beach. At least say something like, oh my god, I just realized something, I have to go. Sorry. He just leaves. If I was Chloe, like I said, I said that at some point, I was like, if I'm Chloe right now, I'm done. I'm just done. Like, I feel like they're, even when they're gonna bring them together, I'm, I'm curious about how it's gonna happen because... If I'm Chloe, I'm just like, mm, no, no, like he's, he fucking dropped her on the beach. He was like, didn't say anything and just left. I know that there's a lot going on and he like, you know, he's trying to, he has this whole thing going on that Chloe is not a part of. Well, at least she doesn't know that she's a part of it. She has no idea. So I guess that. It makes it hard for him to like include her and explain things but I mean oh my god still it comes down to the point of like him not understanding how his actions can hurt people like being left on the beach that's hurtful that would have hurt me I would have been hurt so yeah when they finally get together I think it's gonna be when she learns that he's truly the devil because um, without this explanation and being let in everything and understanding, oh, that's why you're the way you are. That's why all these weird things you left, you were kidnapped. And like, you know, I feel like that's going to be when she's like, oh, okay. And then, you know, it's going to be possible because without that, I don't see her like trusting him enough for them to be in a relationship. That's just me. So yeah, this episode, Ella... She really hurt me because last episode we we were like in the past. So I kind of like, yes, of course I remembered Piers being Kane and everything, but I forgot about him yelling at her. So her being like all like, you know, closed up this episode. And when she said Pierce yelled at me, I was just like, oh my God, yes, poor baby. <laughs> you know, really didn't deserve that. I'm glad he apologized. And Charlotte coming to like... On, on Ella's behalf, like giving him shit. Yes, girl. I love that. Charlotte is really cool. I like her. So yeah, I guess we have a lot to look forward to. So I'm really excited. But this was season three, episode 12, all about her. I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you for the next episode. Thank you so much for watching.